this is the area where we compost our post-consumer waste on site in Bessel. So we have two pieces of equipment here. This piece of equipment is called our incinerator. So all the garbage, excuse me, post-consumer waste that we saw within the cafeteria in those green bins are brought here, sorted out because we do have contamination from garbage, non-compostable things are in that waste. We sort everything out by hand and we actually feed the post-consumer um, food waste and service ware down through into this side of the piece of equipment. This is actually a garbage disposal. So this ships everything up, all the service ware and the food waste, so it's the same size component. And then it flows through, the chipped up food waste flows through this PVC pipe into this thing right here. And this is the incinerator, the dewaterer, if you will. So inside of this component sits this holy cylinder with an auger in that orange bucket right over there, sits inside of this thing. So all the chipped up food waste and service ware flows through the PVC pipe into this opening and then comes up this holy cylinder and then spits out through this chute right here. So this is all macerated, dewatered, service ware and food waste. So every, the products that we get out of this, we turn around and we feed into our rocket composter. We feed 50-50 um, ratios wood chips to macerated food waste and service ware. Now this is our in-vessel accelerated post-consumer composter. Both pieces of equipment were paid for by the students of PCC in 2008. They, the students approached the board of directors and asked to increase their student activity fee by 10 cents, which accrued, which was to accrue into the Green Initiative Fund, $80,000 of money, internal green grant operation. That increased student activity fee actually uh, exponentially increased to $500,000 the increase in enrollment in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. So the students of PCC had to figure out one-time proposals, one-time big spendies, if you will. Spendies. So both pieces of equipment were purchased $20,000 and $20,000. This piece of equipment is the fourth of its kind in the United States, the first to actually um, be used for the purpose that we're using it for. We are composting our compostable serviceware here on site. So what happens is all of the serviceware and food waste um, gets shipped up and then gets fed into this machine through this inlet right here. There's four stages of heating, 160 degrees, 110, 80, and 60. And so within the machine there's an actual auger that turns every hour, or you can manually turn it on if you wish. And about every five days, as you're getting stuff in, you get finished compost. So this compost is actually, um, we've only been running this machine for about four months now, so we're still running tests on the soil composition of this stuff, just so it doesn't contaminate anything on site. But this compost will be used by the grounds department once we get those test results back. It's extremely fast, way faster than any other type of composting that we would be doing, you know, hot rut, those kinds of things. And it runs on 12 kilowatts of power every week.